I just had like a orgasm, Did not you? literally, but like just because you suggested this video. Yes. I was like, oh. I'm excited. <laughs> Guys, the, this, I, we are <laughs> Ashton and, and John. John. And we're back with our reaction video. In today's video, we're reacting to Armin Mueller is the internet cannibal. This was a suggestion for Rom Jordan, Jordan Chill. Chill. <gasps> did he suggest a bunch of I oh think he did. We're in God. for a good night. I love you. Yes, this is awesome. I literally love um, you. You guys can also help support our channel just like he did. If you guys poof, click on the link down below and you donate $10, we'll even react to a video for you within two to four days. Streamlands.com slash Ash and Keep it under 10 minutes. Always include your email, video link, and title. And let's go ahead and get to this video. Yeah, you. I love these. These are really good. Disclaimer. Oh, let's see what says. Copyright something. Oh, that scares you right there. Your section was for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research fair uses. Fair use is a use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing nonprofit, educational, or personal use tips, the balance in favor of fair use. So what does that well, mean? Well, we are critiquing it, commenting, and do, 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 do. What teaching? Not really teaching. Just criticism and comment. Anyway, that being said. You guys, please go subscribe to this channel, honestly. Yeah, we like, should give them a shout out to, honestly. They're literally one of my favorite channels, and we only have seen one of their freaking videos. Um, Scare Theater, no space. The last video was amazing. It gets you really talking and it's thinking. It's interesting, and it's like, this is these are topics that he, this person talks, or he talked, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he like narrates, and it's just really freaking amazing. You guys need to subscribe to him. And let's get to it. I'm excited. Me too. The Silence of the Lambs will forever go down as one of the scariest movies ever made. Hannibal Lecter, the murderous, terrifying cannibal from that the was a good movie. film, seems to be one of the truest villains to ever land on the big screen. The movie explores what seems to be the rare phenomenon in society, that of a human craving the flesh of another, and one thing to consider. He's just super creepy looking too. Like honestly, if you look at this guy, like you're kind of like, oh my god. I don't god, think he you is. Know? You don't think so? Not really. No, I think it's you don't a think mask. Hannibal Lecter's creepy looking. What? He, that, not in that image. I don't know what he looks like other than that. Hannibal the cannibal. But was this a true story? He actually did this shit. No, I don't think so. Let's see. He's just the actor, right? Yeah. Now. Even though the media has shown us this many times through TV shows like The Walking Dead, Hannibal, and more, every so often, you'll hear an odd, off-putting news story. A man eats a mother of two. A rapper kills his girlfriend and eats her lungs. The fuck? And a man from Florida eating another man's face in a brutal attack. Oh my god, I remember that one, and that was because he of was on... um, bath salts, yeah. I believe. Oh yeah, look, bath salts. Yep, bath salts. And it showed like a slight picture of it where you can't see the person who's getting eaten, but you can see like the body of the guy who's eating them from like behind this Did corner. Did he live? Um, yeah, I think he lived, but he was severely, like, his face was severely, like, he The was, attack uh, ended like, when Eugene was fatally shot by a Miami PD officer. Good, good. Um, I'll identify that. marijuana in Gene's system, leaving the ultimate cause of the behavior unknown. They think it was bath salts, though. I mean, it probably But these was. always seem to right. be random instances that are not common in the least. However, something that many people don't realize is that there are people like this. People who want to eat their fellow human beings, living today, walking around. Such as the German-born Armin Muse, nicknamed the Rottenberg Cannibal. What? Armin, born the 1st of December in 1961, was a computer repair technician from Essen of West Germany. Armin gathered attention to himself after posting on a forum board called... Okay, so from computer repair technician to eating your face off, this guy does it all, apparently. And if you look at him, he looks like a pretty normal guy you'd trust to do, like, your accounting work yeah, or something, you, you know? Yeah, but you can't. You can't judge people. You can't, but sometimes you can the Look at those teeth, though. Those look scary. Requesting for a willing participant to be eaten. The fuck? Armin was famously interviewed in 2008 in a documentary called Interview with a Cannibal. This gave him a chance to speak his thoughts and share what really happened. Wow. As well. Okay, but what that place looks really familiar, first of all. First of all, it looks creepy as fuck. <laughs> it's, I think it's one of the famous mansions, but I'm not sure. Um, what makes people think one day, oh my god. I want to try eating a human. And then they get this, like, craving and, like, this thing where, like, they want to do that and be a cannibal. 
you have to try it one time in order to know whether you like it and that initial thought of i wonder what it'd be like to eat somebody that'd be like me just fucking going right now and just taking a fucking bite of your arm just to see what it tastes like and then just doing it like that's disgusting yes who it is. thinks about that shit you don't know if it's you don't know like you've never had it before and then you do it and then you just fucking love it and you're just like who knows maybe everybody would like it if they tried it oh man i don't know and let's get back to it i was allowing a film crew into his old house where the murder and feast took place accounting with murder the and feast blood curdling details of the acts all of which were caught on camera as armin filmed it all on home with a video camera obtained by the police filmed right. it himself too so somebody signed up to do it i guess they must have it's a sony handy cam maybe they're just seeing if it was like real though that sounds like a fucking prank you know Berg police hey, you know would never take it out and the only times it was ever played were right after it was discovered and in court used as proof for the jury when armin was sentenced to life in prison for the murder of his victim jesus as it was discovered by prosecutors the cannibalism itself actually wasn't illegal in germany so he was also charged with disturbing the peace of the dead. Wow. Immediately after meeting, he's smiling. He does look creepy right there. Course in Armin's home. Following, Burnt Brandies, his victim, took 20 sleeping pills and instructed Armin to bite off his penis. When that didn't work, Armin burst his testicles with his teeth, and allegedly, in a video filmed by Armin, Armin chopped off the penis of Burnt with a kitchen knife. Burn screen for and that's the house that he lived in. Wow. 20 to 30 seconds before succumbing to the realization of his pain, and then grew silent. Holy Blood shit. Blood spurted like a fountain from the open wound, stated Armin in the interview. Neither men ended up eating the severed penis raw, claiming it to be too chewy for either of them to eat. So Armin fried it, but ended up burning it. Oh my god. he was too busy caring for Burnt. Burnt agreed soaking in a bathtub after taking more sleeping pills and even some painkillers while he waited for his eventual death. Holy shit. And read Star Trek, the two fell asleep. When Armin woke up in the morning, he found Burnt still alive. What? So Armin finished him off by either stabbing him in the throat or slitting it, as some accounts differ. Of That's the four fucking hours crazy. Of captured by Armin and sieged by Rottenberg police, only 19 minutes were shown in court. This was enough. It led most jurors seeking therapy following the trial, as it was so traumatizing to watch. Since Holy shit. it has been locked up in police security, so it would never be leaked to the press. This obviously being because of the content of the video deemed too well, disturbing yeah. to show ever for any reason. Disturb. I want to see it. Like I don't. I don't. I'm a freak. Like I fucking hate that shit. Like it freaks me out, and I'll never stop. Like it'll traumatize me. You just me look over me. I want to see it. It trauma it will like traumatize me. Like I'll probably have to go to therapy after seeing it. But at the same time, I'm like a freak like that, and I literally want to see it because I'm curious. I think everybody's like that. Like, everybody gets curious, you know. Where I kind of want to see like just a split second of it, just to kind of see like what to happened. see if it was like real, you know. No, like, it just... is real, but like I know that, but something just in me like wants to see it because I have that curiosity. Like I want to see just five seconds of the video well, you this know? guy get his thing cut off and then cook it and see how you know well not that part i'm saying like <laughs> not that part of it but i don't know i think i think 90 percent of people want to see stuff like that but at the same time they don't like they're in the same boat as me mm -hmm. i don't know i yeah i know what you mean like totally just out of curiosity really Certainly, however four screenshots have supposedly leaked onto the internet though it is unknown if these are truly real with no validity saying they are real or fake According to Armin himself, he took great pleasure in his first proper meal with human flesh, preparing it similar to Hannibal Lecter, which is why I mentioned him earlier. However, he was disappointed in the taste, claiming it tasted similar to pork, but stronger, which, if you look into, is the same a few other known cannibals have stated to have tasted. In the weeks following, he enjoyed preparing and eating the flesh of his victim, Holy even shit. claiming it gave him sexual satisfaction he couldn't achieve before. One psychologist and expert juror in the case claimed he wasn't a danger to society as he was a cannibal of love. What the fuck? Basically, he was fully in control of his urges and only acted on them when he knew it was appropriate. It's never appropriate. He attributed Armin's paraphilia to his troubling childhood when his father left his family 
And he became oh, he's got daddy issues. That's why. Also, Holy shit. needing to take care of his mother years later, only to watch her pass. According to Armin, yeah, your the mother would be himself, proud. he dreamt of eating his Oh, he's just eating stuff. It's no big deal. Old. These circumstances also bring up the so-called victim, Burnt Brandies. He's been a point of interest for many people as he willingly volunteered to give his body to Armin for his dirty, perverted acts. That's crazy. At this point, He's clearly a, a lot of people look over what really happened, forgetting that the man Armin ate did all this consensually. Because of the happenstance, some have argued that Armin deserves to roam free as he did nothing wrong no. because it was consensual. Plus, the fact it's argued that he wouldn't be a menace to the outside world. He even claimed to have felt regret for his wrongdoings during the trial. And wish he could have taken back what he did. He even wrote a memoir. A he killed of his the guy. Childhood, leading to his desires and crimes committed. Years ago, when a story grew public, he became upset with the fact of many coming out, expressing their wants to consume human flesh as he did. To which he responded, suggesting anyone to be having thoughts to seek professional help so it would not escalate, like his condition did. A situation like this is hard to fathom, as a man seeked another to eat and did so consensually. Armin oh even God. came up with remorse for his actions, wanting anyone in his footsteps to change their path before it became dire. Yeah, you should. It's cannibalism. He animalistic wants. <sighs> he controlled his desires and even planned to become a vegetarian. So, even though he's done things most of us couldn't bear, does he truly deserve what he's gotten? Yes. Or is what he's done completely inhumane, all things considered? I mean, he stabbed and killed Thank the guy at the watching, end, you know? And I will see you on the flip side. Oh, he so says like, on the flip side is what we say. Shout out to Scare... Well, Scare Theater. Scare Theater. They make some fuck... Well, he makes some great shit, for sure. <sighs> that like that one... I like the first one better because it's more of like a mystery of wondering what happened, you know? And you're kind of putting your own sense into it. That one's more of just like a truly horrifying story. I can see why he's got so many subscribers, though. And now he's got more. How guys. many does he have? It was 434,000, wasn't it? That's Let's double it. check. He deserves... 436,000. He deserves so much more than that, you guys. Please go subscribe to him, right. honestly. He totally like, deserves 437000 He I'm deserves more than that. Yeah. More. Like, he deserves millions. Yes. Um, I like his content a lot, and he puts a lot of work into it, and I just think that that shit is interesting to watch. It's, and he's probably my top... We love, like, this, the horror stuff, guys. It's right up our alley. Like, we watch all this, like, serial killer movies and whatnot, and... He's we plan to kill people. No, I'm just kidding. We didn't do that. That's a joke. I'm John. Ugh. He's one of my favorite YouTubers now, and I've only seen two of his videos. He's probably my number one. You ready for this, guys? You ready for this? See this? Well, bam. Subscribe? subscribe. No, we didn't do the first Oh, on our other channel, maybe? I don't know. No, because we. I don't think we remembered to do it the I first video. I thought I video. told you to do it. You hmm. probably did, but knowing me, I probably forgot. <laughs> well, we're subscribed to him now, so you guys yes, need matters. to, too. Yes. Uh, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Okay.